Hey guys, I wanted to come on here real quick and give you another birthday story, story time, um, of what happened to me today. Um, and to let you know how blessed I am. <laughs> so last night, um, I was up working on music until about three o'clock in the morning and decided to go to bed. As I'm about to go off to sleep, my mom's voice comes in my head and goes, look at your wrist. So I, with my eyes still closed, I feel my wrist and I'd lost my tennis bracelet. Now to backtrack, this tennis bracelet I purchased two years ago after the pandemic. Um, the stores were closing and I saw this particular bracelet which was amethyst, opal, and diamonds. And I started to walk past it, but when I walked past, the opal glared a green fleck, which was emerald, which was my dad's birthstone. And opal is my mom's birthstone. So I thought that that was my sign that I needed to have this bracelet. Um, so I had it on my wrist for two years. When I felt my wrist last night and it was gone, I went into immediate depression. I'm like, oh no. So I immediately got up, tore up my apartment looking for it. I didn't find it anywhere. Nowhere to be found. Um, so my mom's voice is like, go to bed. Maybe it's in your car. I'm like, it's not going to be in the car. Someone is enjoying my gift, a $300 tennis bracelet right now. And it's my birthday month. So I'm like, okay. Um, I get up this morning and I'm still feeling majorly depressed when I decide, or my mom's voice decides for me, <laughs> why don't you get up, go to your car, look for your bracelet. If it's not there, then head to the store and see if you can find something similar. I'm like, okay. So I was headed to TJ Maxx to see if they had something similar that would replace this bracelet that really meant a lot to me. So I look in my car, um, I look between the seats, um, I look in the seats and I don't see anything. So I'm headed up to TJ Maxx. Just as I'm pulling out of the parking lot, this woman in a Lexus um, misses a stop sign and almost hits me. So I come to a screeching halt and everything in the car just falls to the floor. My purse, my gig bag falls to the floor. So I'm, of course, I didn't curse her out, but I cursed her out in my mind. <laughs> you stupid bee, what are you doing? <laughs> so I'm like, Ugh. so I drive on to TJ Maxx. I get in the parking lot and I'm about to go into the store. Um, I, of course, have to pick up my purse and everything because it fell to the floor. So I pick up my gig bag because it fell on top of my purse. And then I pick up my purse and I look and there was my bracelet in the car, just like my mom's voice said. And here it is. <laughs> my amethyst and opal bracelet. My me, mom, and dad bracelet that I wear. Of course, I will not wear it again until I get the clasp fixed on it. Um, but that's my birthday miracle. So <laughs> I had to come on and tell you guys that no, even though my mom is no longer with me, she is still with me. <laughs> and as usual, she's still right. So thanks for joining me today. You guys have a great rest of your day. Um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow on my live. Bye-bye. <laughs>